Okay, so we've got um, a band here. A band is a very versatile bit of kit. There's a lot of things you can do with it. A lot of the movements have already been explained you can do with bands. Um, but here are three of my favorite lower body band only movements. We're gonna be going through a band of good morning, a Romanian deadlift, and then an RNT reverse lunge. So we get to the band of good morning. All you need is a band. You're gonna step inside the middle, about hip width apart with the band underneath the middle of your feet. You can squat down to throw it over the back of your head, and then you're gonna stand nice and tall. Hold the bands at the side of your hips. It's gonna be soft knees, hips come back. Push your hips back until you feel that pull in your hamstrings. Squeeze your big toe into the floor and stand tall and squeeze your glutes at the top. Okay, so with the band, we're gonna be going through an RDL as well. So you need to hold either side of the band and lay it on the floor. Both feet go over. And this one you want quite a bit of tension on and I'm gonna stand myself tall to begin with. Again, soft knees, hips come back. Let that, um, the hamstrings feel that pull. Stand tall and squeeze your glutes. Okay, so the last movement we've got is an RNT reverse lunge. All you're gonna need for this is a band and somewhere to anchor it to. So you're gonna anchor it by threading it through, pull the band out, and then you're gonna do what's called choking the band by getting it nice and tight there. Now, the inside knee is going to be down, so I'm going to thread this through my outside leg, just below my kneecap. And I want a bit of tension on the band. As the band's pulling me in, I'm gripping the floor and pulling it out onto the band. So from here, stood nice and tall. I'm gonna drive myself into a reverse lunge and then stand myself tall. Not letting that knee be pulled in by the band. So with the band, I'm gonna go through three of my favorite band only upper body movements. The first one is just a band resisted press up. So you're gonna hook the band in between your thumbs, wrap it between your back so it sits between your shoulder blades and above your elbows and then you're gonna drop yourself down into a normal press up position. So from a straight line, from my head through to my feet, stomach is nice and tight, glutes are switched on, press myself down, and then push up and lock out at the top. So for another variation, we're gonna do a standing overhead press with the band, standing in your feet like we have been doing. Now what I'm gonna do from here, is bring my elbows underneath, stomach, my rib cage down so it's nice and tight, and I'm gonna punch the band overhead. For the last one, this is like a three-part set um, built around your shoulders, and it, again, all it requires is a band. So the first one we're gonna do is a dislocate. Rib cage down, some tension through the band. You can have your hands closer or narrower if, it's, if you want it to be more challenging, or you can take it wider if you want it to be a bit easier. Rib cage down, stood nice and tall. My arms stay straight, and I'm gonna come over and back. For 20 reps, as soon as you've done that, we're then gonna go into some banded pull aparts. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna have my palms facing up on this one. Stood nice and tall, shoulder blades down and back. Slight bend in the elbows, all I'm gonna do is pull apart. For another 20 reps, then you're gonna find somewhere to anchor the band to. Just loop it round. Now you want it to be about face height, and all you're gonna do is again with your rib cage down, nice and tight, I'm gonna pull my elbows high and I'm gonna do a face pull. So with the bands being a nice and versatile, creative bit of kit, let's see what you can come up with. Let your imagination flow. Uh, let us know what you come up with in the comments. Tag us, like it, share it, and uh, let us know in the comments.